Welcome back to Bedrock. Construction material crafting is in full swing, but we're nearly halfway to the next horde, and we still have a ton of work to do. So the plan today is to finish off the Tier 4 quest line for Trader Jen and gain access to the Tier 5s. Then we'll repair up the Horde base, and finally, we'll continue to work on the final design for the base. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze, so let's begin. Alright, so let's check on the workbenches over here, because I, yes, I was rolling on cobblestone cube shapes last night. Still have a few to go, it looks like, so we'll just put those away for now, and... Uh, what do we need to do? We need to just... Oh, jeez. I was thinking we probably should double up on mixers and... Well, well, maybe not. I was thinking to double up on all the, um, like, the forges and, and cement mixers so that we can kind of increase our output, but I think things are going okay for now. There's 1,300 more mix in there and 1,300 in there, and I think that will do it. So let's head out and, yeah, we can get our reward today, and we'll do a mission while everything's kind of crafting. And then we'll come back here this afternoon and tonight and do further construction. Before we do, though, I've been meaning to do this for ages now. So let's hook up this uh, chain system. Remember, I um, I made a little mod so that I could actually craft these hoist hooks and stuff myself. And I just wanted to set it up there real quick. There we go. That looks so much better. Looks really cool, actually. And we have some more options there if we want to extend it. The, the roof is going to go another, like, three blocks up in the future when I get around to it. I got a lot of other priorities now, like the friggin' digging zombies at Horde Night. Okay, meet you over at Jen's then. Good morning, Jenny. What do you got for me today? Ooh, steel pickaxe, steel gloves. Whoa, that's a huge upgrade for me. Yes, spear, pickaxe. We don't need that crap, do we? Yeah, the one I have is better anyway. Steel gloves it is. A new job for today. Okay, yeah, because we're in the tier fours now. We're getting into, like, the steel age equipment. So, ooh, infested oh, clear. Where's that? Ooh, fit dupes. box. And rewards. I don't even know what that is. Let's do that. If you finish two Sounds more fun. This week, and infestations I give us the best reward. And today's trader... Month. Jen, shut your mouth. Uh, yes, today is trader day, day 25. Let's see what she has. Oh my goodness, she's got a flat motorcycle. Got some pretty good equipment here too. Oh, she's got an SMG turret. Yes, we absolutely need that. Just as a way to, if anything, get rid of the nine mil ammo that we have. Okay, some really good stuff here, but this is all the money that I have. Okay, we could do the whole awesome sauce sugar butt and I'll bring the Magnum with me. We'll do a sell off and hopefully well, we'll at least get the SMG turret, if not maybe, maybe the motorcycle as well. Do. Let's check and see first uh, where we are in terms of crafting our own motorcycle. I mean, steel would be a huge problem for us anyway, and we're 11 magazines away. So you know what? It might be worth it to just uh, buy the motorcycle outright from her if we can. It's going to require a lot of money, and we don't have a lot of time to get it. Well, there's a sugar butt right there. I'll buy it now, just in case we don't come across it later, and there's always awesome sauce in there. Well, I guess we're yeah, we're going to replace the padded gloves here with the, the steel, this quality six steel gloves. What an upgrade that is. Very nice. Okay, and this... I can just put this over into the cooler with all the rest of the junk that I've got to sell to Jen at some point. There you go, Jenny. Remember, stay hydrated in the desert, okay? Oh, here it is, the fit box. This both looks familiar and uh, looks new to me at the same time. Well, there's only one way to find out. We gotta get inside. Oh, wait. Horde Bites! Yes! Oh, my collection! I've already got the barbecue chips. I've already got... Uh, I think I already have a Mega Crush sign. The murky water there. I can drink the murky water now if I want to, because I've got the helmet mod for it. All right, let's get in here. Tier 4 infestation at the Fit Box. I ended up putting the bow away so that I could carry the... Uh, whoops! Oh, great. Uh, so that I could carry the AR with me. Just saves up an inventory spot. Yep, don't need anything out of that vending machine. Just drink the murky water. Pretty quiet here so far. No one's hiding in the bathroom. Yet. Here they are. Whoa, there's a rad! Ah. Alright, what are we looking at here? Three on the compass, and two behind this door. Oh, and a rad biker. That's nice. Okay, don't bother with the sledgehammer then. Is there someone behind me? Nope. Oh, there's number three right there. And this is why we bring the AR with us, so that we can switch over. Might be worth putting at least maybe like two skill points into that. That reminds me, I've been trying to get into the habit of like spending my skill points in the morning on a daily basis. 
Okay, so we're still waiting for the cigar, so we can't go any further into strength unless I want to do mother load, which honestly is fine. Then there's intellect, where I would like to get some points. You know what? I think better barter at this point. If we're going to be gunning for the motorcycle, let's do that. Two points into better barter. Yeah, we'll just stick with intellect for a little while until I can get that cigar and then we can max out on strength stuff. Oh, holy, another two rads. Come on, man. I'm going outside. Ugh, jeez, man. Okay. Slow down, buddy. Yeah, for some reason he was going really slow. Oh, that's not the gun you want for the armored zombies anyway. Because, you know, the shotgun actually gives them armor, I think, is how it works. Doesn't help, that's for sure. Okay, I've attracted someone from the outside. Hello, Bo. Good morning, sir. Whoops. Missed a little bit. There we go. So I guess once upon a time, that would have just been one rad, but because of the infestation, we're getting two now. Ooh, ATM. Hey, first try. Need all the money we can get anyway. 900, nice. And have I got the health bar yet? I'm gonna make it a thing. Like from now on, every series, I'm gonna collect all of the um, candy posters. It's gonna be like one of my series goals. Okay, I'm a little bit lower on the hit points than I would like to be, but Again, I forgot the bandages, and I'd like to save the first aid kits, so we'll just be extra careful here. Yeah, I've been here before. I was here in the Frostbite series, I think. That's where it looks familiar from. Oh, nice pistol in that purse there. Yeah, I'm assuming that they're all here somewhere. They're just all gonna run out at me at once. Might as well take a moment then and just harvest up some of these resources. Take that stuff while I'm at it. Is that an airdrop? It is. Over to the northeast. Oh, by the way, are, do we have the... Uh, do we have a bead on the treasure map now? There it is. We've got the treasure map. Uh, we can take bees off. We've, we've long since cleared that. Nice. We'll have a couple of things to round out the day tonight. We'll hit the airdrop, the treasure map. We'll come back, get our quest reward, and call it a day. Yeah, this whole this whole level was clear after all. That's li How many hit points is... Oh, 10,000. Yeah, not easy to break into those, I guess. Well, we have an easy way out if we need it. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go here? I guess so. <laughs> Why is there a plant growing in here? There's all kinds of places to just jump out the side. This place uh, was quite the war zone at some point, it looks like. Well, all we have left is, um, well, is there a level four or is that the rooftop? I think there's, yeah, it's four levels. Corner bookshelf here, nothing. All right, I'm starting to get a little freaked out. Where's all my zombies? This level is totally clear. Not totally clear, there's a zombie back there. Really, there's not much going on here so far, though. I'm, I'm probably there's like all of the zombies, like all 25 of them are going to be all at once on the rooftop. It's okay. Oh, vehicle adventures right there. I don't think that's going to come in handy very much. All right, let's kill this nurse and these couple of zombies over here. Yeah, we got rads already, so just get the uh, the duck bill out. There we go. We're working well. Are you just not a runner, Z-Bark? Holy crap, we got more. Oh, yes, they do ambush you. I see, oh, he's running now. I must have some sort of a buff where if I, I don't know, shoot a zombie with a shotgun, they slow down for a second. Something to that effect anyway. Oh, another treasure map. Well, geez, if I read it now, it's probably not gonna tell me where it is because there's some kind of a bug right now. Oh no, it's over there. Well, geez, okay. I don't know what's going on, guys. Sorry. I've been thinking um, thinking about the series a little bit lately. And where do I go now? Oh, rope to the top. Yeah, like, um, you know, it's 21 stables out and they always they always tell you that you should start a new game when, when you hit stable. And um, as it stands now, if we continue with the series, it's going to be another month or so. So I guess uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is we'll see how these the whole Horde Knight thing goes. See if we can come up with a system to to fight the zombies and not have them just digging down every time. And if they do, and, and we get killed and eaten on Horde Night, I think I would just call it there and move on to a new st series, like starting off in 21 Stable and see if that resolves some of the, the janky bugs that we're experiencing. And, uh, I don't know if it will or not, but worth a try anyway. I got a cool uh, series design kind of set up for the next series though. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think this is it right here. Oh, geez, I don't even think that there's any real utility in sneaking. Let's just burst out here a little bit. Um, can I get on? Oh, I can. Look at that. Get out of here. Yep, you too, buddy. Go away. And just like that, my parkour skills 
allow me to see what's happening down here. Holy Toledo, that's a lot of zombies. Well, I'm going to take them out all at once. Every one of them. Well, most of them at least. Goodbye. <laughs> off with the off with the legs. I love the dismemberment. It's great. I'll airburst one for these guys. There we go. And I don't know, there's still like eight left. Well, I'll rely on my strength skills for this one. Oh jeez, the floor is opening up underneath me. Yep, okay. These guys are strong. Whoa, buddy. Slow down. He's so strong. He's so strong. I don't like it. Ah, I think we're pretty... He's still alive. You get out of here, man. Holy crap. I'm gonna die. Holy crap. Yes, yes. Definitely gonna die here. No, jump. This place is the death trap. I'm out of stamina. Okay, I don't know if they can jump up here. I think we're good. Yes, we got two left and one of them is uh, bobbing over there. Come on, big mama. Give it up. Give it up. Jeez. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it's my skill. My skill is terrible. He's quite athletic for having only one arm. <laughs> Make that no arms. Yep. Okay, we're all clear here. Man, finally, we can loot up. That was a much closer call than I ever would have liked. What can I say? These infestations are for real. They're fun, too. I really like them. Well... Nothing much today. Oh, there's also this section down here, right? This is like a clothing store section, so, you know, fingers crossed for maybe a cigar in here somewhere. Nope, no cigar, and I think, I think we're just done here. Let's, let's get out of here. There's a shotgun messiah book here. We're crafting shotgun slugs. Ooh, that was it for the series. What does that give me? I can now one-shot wooden blocks, and I can bolt craft the shotgun ammunition. That's not too bad, actually. You know, sometimes I don't prefer to be able to one-shot the blocks, but that's okay. All right, I think we're off to the treasure maps now. All right, we're at the first mining site here, Claude's treasure map. While I'm here, I'm definitely gonna have this wood. It's hard to come by in the desert. All right, let's dig. With any luck, we'll pull a big handful of dukes or something, something valuable out of these treasures, and that'll help us purchase the motorcycle. Man, the... Uh, if I had to go back and do it all over again, I think I would just immediately pump a whole bunch of points into vehicles. I feel like vehicles are one of the hardest things to unlock. I mean, imagine how long it's going to take to get the gyrocopter at this rate. All right, there's my treasure. And we're in. Okay, nothing valuable, but... Jeez, uh, that's actually bad. Quite bad. Dang. Well, better luck next time. Where's the next one, anyway? To the north. Well, I'll meet you at the airdrop, then. All right, here we are. I think roughly... Oh, here it is, right here. <laughs> right next to the vet, my favorite place to gank the loot from. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave home without it. Might as well take it at this point. What's that? Cloth armor? What is this? Weaving plant fibers in the cloth? Nothing special there. Okay, a bunch of junk. There we go. Stash that all away. I also, um, on my way over there, I did pick up a whole bunch of magazines out of some mailboxes that I found along the way, so I'm gonna read all of those. And I'll t open this up for wiring, scrapping, and cooking magazines. All right, let's grab the main loot here. All it takes is one frame to get in here. And usually, I might have actually already done this. Nope, nope, it looks like this is a clean loot here. Main chest, yeah, not much. Nothing good in there. Getting all kinds of sledgehammer parts that I'll never ever use. And this will just be magazines usually, yep. Well, oh well. On to the buried treasure then. Okay, here it is. Same procedure. Let's dig. I'm not even gonna bother with the boxes in the corner. Just gonna dig it. I need to dig up more clay soil anyway. The clay soil from the topsoil here and the sand is just gonna go into cobblestone production and concrete production. Okay, I found it. We are in. How about this one? Money, please. Money, money. Uh, nope. More ammo. Hooray. Yeah, there's some gems and stuff we can sell, but it's not gonna be worth very much. I guess we're heading back home then. More or less empty-handed. Nothing great was found in looting today. Suppose we can get our quest reward. Hopefully something over there is worth it. And continue hitting up all the mailboxes along the way. All right, just in time before she closes too. To Steel spend. axe, compound crossbow. For the rest of the day. Oh, that's really lame, Jen. I guess I'll have to take the crossbow for selling purposes. And a job for tomorrow. 
Winter Zombies Northwest, the Judy Witch House. Yes, man, I've been waiting to do that one. For tonight, though, we've got work to do back at the base. All right, everything's now organized back at the base. Got my new posters up on the wall, and I've decided I'm going to craft a pair of scrap leg, scrap iron leg armor so that I can replace the padded armor, whatever I'm wearing right now. That'll get us fully switched over to heavy armor. I'm going to read these, but the, I've, I could only craft that. They're only going to be good for level two iron armor, so I'd rather have the mod slots. Well, actually, yeah, I was hoping that... Why does this only have two mod slots? I was really hoping that that would have more so that I could put, like, a customized fittings mod on there. Okay, I got to learn how all that works. How many mod slots does this have? This has four. Is it, like, randomized now? Okay, mystery, I guess. Okay, got my cobblestone cubes. I will get the nail gun and the resources, and I'll meet you out in the horde base. Okay, first things first here, just minor repair. Get everything all dressed up over here, and I'll get all the spikes put in once and for all so that it looks nice. I'm not sure. Are we sold on uh, the scaffolding ladder here as our <laughs> fighting position thing? Eh, I don't know. It'll do, I guess. The, the fighting position really wasn't a big problem. If I wasn't so distracted from the diggers, which, you know, no guarantee that that's not going to be another big problem next time, but I think this fighting position will hold up just fine. Doesn't seem like the concrete really shows the damage like it used to because they've got that new sort of, um, like, uh, look, the, the new appearance of broken blocks. Go, oh, geez, screamer screaming. Wow, where is she? There she is. Scared the crap out of me. Well... <laughs> I guess we're going to have company down here in a minute. Here they come. All right, on this end over here, I'm finally ready to kind of shore up this wall. They seem to be doing a lot of damage to it, so might as well get it solidified. Which reminds me, we also have to work on a new, some sort of a new grenade shoot system which i think really is too easy all it's going to be is replacing these weird arrow slit blocks that i chose with regular ramps and now that the back wall is done i'm going to just start putting some spikes on everything kind of finish off the aesthetic that we were going for okay that's just about it for down here for now there's just one more thing and that is what are we going to do up here for the top because we could do the regular spikes here but then i was wondering is there like a round cone there's this one is that if that's gonna look weird though i think we just gotta go with the regular spikes not that this does a whole lot just for looks basically and then the last thing is yeah i'm gonna finish this project off up here that is going to consist of well i'm just gonna wrap this all the way around here so that um, we can put the cookie plates down Oh, getting yellow outlines too. Okay, yeah, we got to go down and work on stability down there a little bit, I think, at some point. Lest we... <laughs> oh, no, can you imagine if this whole thing collapsed? What a disaster that would be. No, I don't think we're in, in grave danger right now. Usually, these types of bases are pretty forgiving, but it's going to give me these yellow outlines now because I've done the beltway. That's what's causing all this. Yeah, the, the place where we need to put the resources is up here. We need to get as much of this to concrete as possible. At least the the areas that seem to be, you know, targeted the most by the zombies. Okay, yeah, it's still pretty early. We're not going to be able to go to Jen's. Well, actually, we got a job today, so we could just aim to get the job over with and then come back and do some work after that. Yeah, well, you know, I'm right here right now. Let's just, just plug this in real fast. Okay, there's still much, much more to be done around here. Like I said, we're going to we're gonna bring this pad all the way basically to here even though i the screamers did this over here this wasn't horde night it was just screamers being stupid anyway so uh we'll bring the pad over to here we'll bring the pad over to here on this side and then um yeah we'll focus a lot on getting this all up to concrete as much as we can and hopefully the 5,000 hit points from the concrete will be enough and if it's not I don't know, at that point, it's just a matter like, do we double layer it? Do we um, upgrade it to steel? I don't know the answer. Jeez, it wasn't supposed to be like this, man. <laughs> In Alpha 20, bedrock bases were a lot simpler. It, this is all you needed. Every single zombie, 100% of the time, they would just dive down here. That is no longer the case. The fun pimps hate me. <laughs> they don't want me building down at bedrock. I can't fathom why. The only real advantage that you have is you don't have to deal with wandering hordes. You don't have to deal with, um, like, just regular ambient zombies. And um, you don't have to deal with, like, people uh, 
the foundation of your base being destroyed, right? Because you get the invincible foundation. But for the amount of work you got to put in to get down here, I mean, I feel like that is a worthwhile benefit. Well, anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'll meet you over at... What was that place over there again? I don't remember. But wherever it is, I'll meet you there. Right, the Judy Witch House. Man, I can't wait to do this place. It's one of my favorite new POIs and I haven't even been in here yet. I did want to take a look at the map real quick. Okay, we got a ditch over here. I'm quite thirsty and I just, I didn't want to drink anything. I wanted to come over here and just drink some, uh, <laughs> some uh, ditch water. Should be able to anyway. Is this, doesn't this, isn't this how it works? Come on now, let me drink. Oh, come on, get out of here, man. Oh great, now it's contaminated with bow brain. Is it, uh, is it not deep enough or something? Is that the issue that I'm having here? W what is going on? Why isn't it? It's press E to drink, right? This is just not working right now. Is it, is it this water? Do I need like a different water source? There was another, like, um, fountain over here somewhere. Yeah, at the nursing home. We'll just jump in here real quick. I don't think there's any zombies over this far away. Oh my goodness, a wolf. Let's try and drink out of this. Oh, oh there it was. I, I just saw it and I... Why, why is it so difficult? Is it just me or is it, has it always been like this? I haven't had this kind of difficulty before. There we go. Okay, there we go. Topped off on that. Why are there bird nests <laughs> underwater? <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, I think we are at, a, at the stage where we need to start stocking up on animal parts again. Oh, thank you very much. Gonna just do a flyby there. Oh, that's a nice uh, chest set there. I think that's, I have a level three on right now, so that's good. And that's gonna have four mod slots. Good. Promise I will figure out how that all works eventually. All right, Judy Witch. Okay, don't mind me, I'm just gonna double loot the pumpkins here. So I suppose you could just live off of ditch water and pond water and whatever now that we have the helmet filter mod, but I do like like the stamina benefit and, um, you know, digestive efficiency, the things that you get from, like, cooked drinks. So I'm still gonna stock up on chrysanthemums and goldenrod flowers whenever I can. Alright, well, I'm gonna start around back, I guess. There's a whole bunch of, like, accessory buildings here, like barns and sheds and stuff, so I guess we'll start here. Look at the garden stuff here, though. It's kind of insane. Oh, jeez. What have I done? Hello? Oh, they're inside. I've just woken them up. Ah oh, man, I'm spoiling the whole surprise. Ah, uh, here they are right here anyway. Okay, pick that up out of the way and come on out here, guys. Whoa, jeez. Ted Sheckler, the spider here. And a bunch of regulars. Hmm, I wonder, do you come out that way and across here or do you, is it the other way around? I'm not sure. Okay, let's just go in the designated pathway then. Can't really help myself. I really want this pure clay soil. Okay, good enough. Oh, yes. Oh, these are like... These are the, the pipes that you can buy. Oh, maybe we need to buy some pipes to uh, kind of dress up the base a little bit because I have some cool piping ideas. Oh, I'm just noticing that these POI mushrooms are quite a bit different than the, like the ones you plant yourself, I guess. Okay, pretty much all clear in here. We know this trick though. Okay, moving right along here. Oh, yeah, we've already been here. Oh, got another one here, though. Just one, I think. A little bit of breakfast there, but I think I'm all set. Yeah, who needs the crossbow, really? I'm not patient enough for it half the time anyway. Okay, basement clear. Level one is clear. We're up to level two. And this just goes to nothing, I guess. All right. Several zombies waiting for me in here in various locations. Whoop, look out. Bunch of these guys. It's the old razzle dazzle there. Judy Witch herself, Arlene. Ow. There we go. I pulled out shades and tough guy sunglasses. Still no cigar. Come on, cigars. Come on. No. All right. I need to stash the bike real quick. Already filled up. All right. What do you suppose we're getting into in the attic? A rad of some variety. Who's that? Garrett. Okay. All clear. Is this, is this really it? I mean, I, I was expecting more here, I guess. Maybe it's the big fights in the garage. The garage has a basement too. Yeah, that's probably where it is. Yep, over to the silo, which yeah, that goes underground. That's nice. 
here let's just go with the firearms here yep here's here's this is an issue okay we, we can't deal with all this stuff get rid of this oh my goodness it's like a whole underground facility here oh that's the main loot over here uh, or in that room over there okay so this is where it all is gonna go down i think then vehicle could explode there's a biker over there there's a zombie a couple zombies here <laughs> this is where i would definitely want a crossbow yeah they're starting to pop up on the compass now i got four on the compass here let's let's do let's kill the biker with the pipe bombs if i can and that's it for the pipe bombs good whiffed that one a little bit kill and kill is that it Whoop! here's a the rat there we go stand no chance okay that wasn't too bad presumably there's more though okay up we go to the next stage here Whoop! not much going on here it looks like all right well this has to be the big fight down here then in the is wait yeah, this is the main room right here that we were just in. This is the sub-level here where the big fight is probably and the main loot is for sure. That door will close if I want it to. Here they come. We get at least a thorough way. Oh, mutated. Jeez, man. No, 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 no. Okay, run. Oh my god. Something sprained. First aid kit. Oh, I'm running as fast as I can. Okay, up here is a good spot to turn and fight, I think. Get back. There, he's dead. Reload. Spider. I can one-shot wooden blocks now, I think. Well, almost. There we go. Okay, that should seal them off so they can't quite get to me and I can reevaluate. Just spiders, I think, down there. All right. Let's breach down here. They've broken out into the main room. There's another. Mutated. Here we go. Good. Okay, I did sprain a leg and I infected myself. We have cleared the area. We're good to loot up. There we go. I got the acid out of that medical pile there. Been trying to do that for ages. All right, we're in, but the inventory is a huge problem right now. Well, let's see what we get then. Ooh, definitely disappointing. Crap. Ah, oh, jeez, whatever. Hopefully Trader Jen has something better for us. I'll meet you there. All right, here we are. I did make up a splint before I came over here so we can cure that sprained leg. The infection will have to wait. Hey, Jenny, what do you got for me? Oh, a good ratchet there. I suppose I'll have to take that. That's going to be dramatically better than the Quality 6 wrench. And to think we had a uh, Tier 2 impact driver at some point. I think I got rid of that, though. Yeah, extra 22.1 block damage. We'll definitely take that. Oh, goodness, we're done with the Tier 4s. Wow, four by four parts. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take the casino tokens because uh, that's gonna help us get the motorcycle. Yep, I'll take that. And I'll have to wait, I guess, to get a tier five job tomorrow. Man, already into the tier fives. Yeah, in that case, there's no need to probably dwell and do the tier fours anymore. We'll just wait. And uh, for the rest of the day today, we'll do base construction. Okay, everything's put away. And you know, I'm just thinking now, we, we have 30,000, almost 30,000 dukes right now. And if we do the sell off and I just take a moment to like repair some stuff, put some mods on stuff, we'll definitely have enough for the motorcycle. And I would definitely like to get out of the damn mini bike era. So I'm gonna do a big sell off. Give me a few minutes to get everything organized and I'll meet you over at Jen's. All right, here we are. I got the Magnum out already. Got the sugar butts on me. Let's just put a, a duster in there just for a second so I can buy this awesome sauce over here hopefully yeah there we go awesome sauce okay get all of the buffs into me and oops sugar butts is in the bike there it is oh i brought a, a learning elixir too of course so that we can get a little bit of extra xp nice all right we got two minutes and 40 seconds to sell everything off all right round two there we go. She still doesn't want these stupid cowboy boots. So I'm going to just keep them in her cooler for now. Okay, we are still on the clock though. Minute and 28 seconds. We are up to 50... Nope. Hang on. 79,000 dukes. Okay, we're just at that stage where money is probably not going to be much of an issue anymore. And only 16 grand for that motorcycle. Can I... Did I have a um, skill point? I do. Can't do better barter. Okay, I, I feel better about that. Because uh, if I had just missed out, that would have been kind of sad. Anyway, motorcycle. 
easy purchase there. And where's that SMG turret? Shotgun turret, SMG auto turret right there. I'll even take that forged steel since we're going to get such a discount on it right now. And the awesome sauce is just about to run out. Now That's that it. That was a good deal. Yes, it was. Finally, a real ride. Get the supercharger off and put it onto this. And we'll probably just pick this up forever. Maybe save it in case that blows up or something. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have jinxed it like that. And the SMG turret, um, well, for now, I think it'll probably just replace the shotgun turret so that I can reserve the shotgun shells for myself during Horde Night. Okay, we're continuing to roll on the concrete mix down here. All kinds of it now. And there's a whole, there's 300 more shapes right there. Okay, so that hopefully will be enough to do the topside pad project and just start rolling on a few of these shapes for now. Okay, and I got 427 more cobblestone cubes rolling into my inventory. Okay, so for tonight then, Let's do a little bit of work around here. Let's just get this all, you know, not really finalized, but get started on it at least. All right, it's gonna be quite a project here. Oh yes, the, the roll up door. Did I ever craft that? I need to make that. Got a screamer here. Is she down here with me? Hopefully, there she is. Die. Okay, that, that is good. So she's coming down here as expected. Ugh, it's just a matter of, geez, those, that stupid friggin' dig rage mode that they've added. <laughs> that drives me nuts, man. I'm trying not to be upset about it, but I'm taking it personally because I'm, I don't know if I'm like, I mean, I'm not gonna take full credit, but I, uh, you know, I've made, uh, I've made it kind of part of my identity to do bedrock bases. And I feel like it's probably, this will be the last one unless then something changes because it's just, it's not worth the extra effort and the extra risk and the extra resources and it's just not what it used to be. I'm nostalgic. I want it, I want it to be like the good old times when I could make it a bedrock base relatively easily. Okay, there's a lot to do down here and it's kind of monotonous stuff, so let's just time lapse it. All right, I think that'll just about do it for this one. So it's about to crack morning and you can start to see what the final layout is going to look like. The beltway will go all the way around. Really no function to it other than kind of just not having a flat wall on the back end. So I'm leaving this section here open and I'll kind of show you why here. So my thought is we can go to the trader and buy some pipes and then we can string pipes kind of in this groove all the way around and then maybe have a section here where it kind of like goes down into the floor and, and it just, I don't know, it just looks like there's a pipe wrapping all the way through and maybe we do the same thing for like the middle part of the ceiling here and just run a pipe all the way around and maybe, I don't know, connect them up in a couple of different places. I think it'll look pretty cool. So that'll wrap all the way around the back and I still need to kind of settle on a block to use here if I want to do this or security gates or um, make some sort of a, a like an overhang or I don't know quite what I'm going to do there just yet. And I don't also really know what I'm going to do for these support columns here if I want to use something fancier than just cubes. I did have a look last night to see if I can craft a quality well, five shotgun. I can only do the four now and we need a few more parts. And at a cost of 60 forged steel, I think it's better off that we just wait until we can do the quality five. And that way we can benefit a little bit more from the mod. So I'm just going to get crafting here and we'll pick things up in a couple of hours. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.